Hello, it's Maddie F. Baby here with some Timeless Cup action for you. And today we're going to be going up against Purple Kyogre. And we're using my Charizard team versus his Meganium team. So I'm running Dragonair, Lantern, Victory Bell, Charizard, Beedrill, and Celio. I want to do a Charizard with flying fast moves um, eventually, but I don't have charge champs. That's, I got so many Pokemon I want to use, but I need charge champs. So we're just using the regular Fire Spin Charizard. And then it looks like he's running a Lapras, a Dragonair, a Dusclop Spicy, and then um, a Skuntank, Kingdra, and Meganium. And I want to try some double ghost or single ghost action with some return Banette eventually. But like I said, I haven't had any fast teams in a while. I have like 10 Pokemon waiting for fast teams. And yeah, I don't know have Shadow Claw on my return um, Banette. But anyways, let's get into these battles. Before I get into the battles, uh, go subscribe to Purple Kyogre if you haven't um, already. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you have. But if you haven't, go check him out. His link's in the description. He's a really cool guy. Loves being in that bet there. Richmond tournament. Time for battles. <laughs> All right, so match one. We we lead our Beedrill into his Skun Tank. We're gonna give neutral damage with our X Scissor while the um, Poison or the Sludge Bomb would be resisted. So definitely going for X Scissors here. And yeah, we remember from his Ferocious Cup that he has Flamethrower on the Skun Tank. So assuming he has the same move set, we're like, yeah, we definitely gotta use a shield. Um, or yeah, we just gotta use a shield. So just trying to hopefully down him with the X Scissor here. If he doesn't shield, we'll see what he does. Survey says, and he's gonna let us take him down. So we do win against the Skun Tank, but we lose the shield battle. But we have, you know, a good amount of energy stored up and people have been letting me sludge bomb their Labrises when I've been running Beedrill and it hurts, just so everybody knows. Like the sludge bomb is gonna do a good chunk. Like look at that. So um, the ice shards are gonna be super effective against us, but the sludge bombs, if we have energy advantage, um, you might want to shield that that on the lap race. So we bring in a Celio, um, that body slam, spam. And I'm not the hugest fan of this uh, Charizard team I made. Like I love running Ludicolo. Don't like having Victory Bell as my, uh, as my whatchamacallit, as my Razor Leafer. And then even though I like Bugs, um, and I love, I mean, I'm saying I love Beedrill. I love, love, love him. It's like, man, Venomoth is just so um, superior feeling uh, right now just because of that confusion just, yeah, it's just it's just too good with the with the with the silver winds. You can run return on it. You can even surprise people with some psychics. But anyways, um, we down his Lapras. In comes the Dragonair, and our Celio is just going to town. Body slam. I'm gonna do a whole video just with some Celio action here in a couple of days because he's just so good with that body slam spam. So definitely don't um, count him out as your ice user. Um, it's probably a little bit easier to use than a Skull Bash Lapras as far as like you know you just going straight at somebody with body slams. You don't gotta wait as long to get there, but it, you know, they're both really good ice users. But I'm just saying, don't count Celio out. That's all I'm trying to tell you. But anyways, bring in our Charizard, and we're like, oh no, Aquatel's gonna hurt, but he shouldn't have to, right? He, d he has to, man. I keep like getting caught off guard by how fast Dragonair gets to Aquatel, and I have a, a you know, really good PvP IV um, Dragonair that I'm using that has Dragon Breath Aquatel, and it just, it's still a surprise to me when I'm facing it. So right here I decided to dip out and let my Celio come in and have a little fun. Um, we're going to tank this thinking if it is a return it's not going to do too much, uh, too deadly of damage to us. I'm going to try to hit him with the body slam before he dips out, but he dips out. So now we're going to try and, um, and shield bait here, hoping that he's expecting a roar beam. And yeah, he's not going to shield fall for it. Good job, purple, purple K. Um, but then I go straight to another ice beam. So is he like, hmm, is that another body slam? Is he, is he already having enough energy for a roar beam? I do. So um, thankful that he didn't uh, drop the shield deck. So he let my Celio do some work. But that could be, you know, a nice shield to have later. We'll see if he needs that shield later and if it if it helps him win the game or not. Let's see. Anyways, yeah, we bring in our Dragonair. I'm um, trying to just farm or power down this Cedra or Kingdra and hoping that he shields right here because we're almost at a Dragon Pulse, right? And even if it was just return, that would do pretty decent damage. But no, again, he's just a cold stone um, killer with these shields. He just keeps looking me straight in the eyes and dares me to use something that makes him need the shield and I just keep not being able to. So now I have a shield and he has two shields. And um, yeah, so we're not looking too good because he's got a little bit of energy already. Um, um, which we call it his fast moves, gonna be doing a ton of damage to us. So yeah, he just did really well with the uh, with the uh, shield management because it turns out to you know be key. I was trying to farm enough for like two dragon claws, so that's why I didn't even get that last one off. I was trying to get the. Uh, 
the back-to-back -back action. So now we lead Beedrill again. He leads Meganium, so we win that lead right there. We're gonna dip out again into our Celio, who um, does pretty well at um, just coming in on, on switches. It's not too, too much that he has to be super scared of, and uh, especially if you haven't seen the Razor Leafer from somebody, and yeah, they don't have the Blaziken with uh, counter damage or Sudowoodo with counter damage, so I like switching into Celio right now. Same goes with Lapras, I guess, too, because they're just both so, so tanky and can do so much work to so many. But anyways, Aquato comes in, and dang, we, we, we shield there. Worried about it being a return or something. And uh, I should or worried that a Surf would knock us out, too, even though we it's going to be uh, resisted and we're, you know, it, it's no stab damage and worth it. But yeah, we just go into Body Slam, Spam mode, and yeah, we get going to down the Dragonair, and he's out of shields, and I still got one. But can we get another Body Slam off? And he brings in a Lapras, so look at Celio. I don't know how many Body Slams he's gotten off in this video, but I'm gonna start trying. It's, it'd be too hard to keep count. He just like, slam, slam. He's a WWE, WrestleMania, SmackDown, Raw. He's been through all the main events. Um, so yeah, we, we switch here into our Charizard. I don't think I should have switched into my Beedrill. Um, I think maybe, yeah, I made the wrong call here. But um, I think I get it bailed out um, by a switch into the Meganium again in a moment. And yeah, so he's gonna he's gonna bail out here, and it just uh, I think I got bailed out, even though Beedrill could have came in and did some work. Um, so I still could have possibly won, but just letting me uh, take out the take out the wish call the Meganium one shot like that. Um, I think it's gonna be key right here. And so we're trying to get our Sledge Bomb, and we know he doesn't have. Um, this is gonna be a Skull Bash Surf Lapras, so no one's gonna worry about Ice Beams, and not sure he has enough for a Skull Bash in. So thankfully it is the Surf. Um, and we survived that, so Beedrill doing some work, and even though I like Venomoth Bed Art for this cup, I love Beedrill so much. And we're doing some more action, uh, we got the, the Celio versus the Kingdra, and we're just farming right here a little bit. We're gonna have to use a shield, and I need to just start straight Aurora Beaming some people. I say that all the time now, but it's so, so fun to do Body Slam and Spam, and I make a mistake right here. I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm thinking, I should have X-Scissor, or I should have, uh, just stayed in and tried to roar beam in him. I'm thinking just later having the Celio all propped up with a bunch of with a bunch of energy will be good for me. But then I gotta come, you know, use the rest of my shield. So this game, I think I was just trying to play um, too too like loose and, and trying to be too uh, big brained. And I think I just ended up costing myself uh, uh, from having a, a good match. And yeah, I just don't really feel like I played very well right here. But that's gonna happen sometimes. You're not always gonna be playing your best, especially when a cup's uh, still new, and you're just, just trying to have some fun and learn, and trying out new teams too. I'm not, not using the same team, um, but for longer than like a day or two right now, just trying to have fun, and you know, just do all sorts of all sorts of different uh, team videos, you know what I'm saying? And uh, get to learn how all the teams work, and, and find good synergy. I do have one team that I really like though, and yeah, anyways, let's get back to talking about the actual matches. Um, yeah, he just burned a bunch of energy, so um, our Charizard is going to be able to get him close to death right here with just the fast moves. We decided Dragon Claw, because we know he's got another crunch coming our way. And then Dragonair is going to come back in, and we do have energy here. And I don't know why I farmed more. Maybe I like was over the threshold, because I thought I would have enough for two Aurora Beams. So maybe I need to go look at the energy, and it's probably like 55 energy or something to so where you can't ever have two. But I felt like I had... I, I thought I'd be able to do back-to-backers right here, and I don't have enough for another Aurora Beam, so I should have body slammed. I was thinking maybe he'd expect a body slam so I could um, um, hit him, so he wouldn't shield, you know, expecting a body slam, so I could use the Aurora Beam and him not shield. So that's why I used the Aurora Beam first, and yeah, I should have used the body slam first, because then I would have enough energy for that Aurora Beam. All right, so now we have Celio in against Lapras, the two Ice Boys, the the Dragon Slayers of this cup. But they don't always slay the dragons. It's got to be you know you got to get them in the right spot and play them right. Like I didn't play Celio right that last game. I had him up against both dragons, and he didn't do much to either because I didn't play very well. Um, but yeah, um, GG Purple K. Um, so body slams right here. Boom. Just going to town with these body slams, hoping to get another one off before he hits us with a skull bash or another surf. Word is going to be a skull bash here. So, yeah, definitely going to uh, use the shield there and then try and farm a little extra knowing he just spent a bunch of energy. We can't farm too, or try to farm him down too, too hard all the way. It's, we don't have to take another surf. So, yeah, we just get a little extra energy. We're down shields, but up in energy. We almost got enough for another roar beam, or for an roar beam. And uh, hoping to draw a shield here with this body slam. And I think I do. So yeah, 
Boom, so we do draw a shield. And then I think I should just, uh, do I let him go down here? I think I shield him. And then I want to say I go for a body slam, but I should just go for a war beam, right? Let's see. Yeah, I go for a war beam. Okay, cool. Sorry, I did a bunch of matches last night. I'm still kind of sick now. I filmed that well. Um, hopefully it gets better. Like, I'm just still, like, not feeling good. My throat and, and sinuses are all jacked up. But that's okay. Uh, we got Lantern against this uh, Skun Tank. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be it's a good pew pew damage, but he's gonna get to those crunches really fast. And then a Dragonair comes in, and I'm thinking I should just fire it off uh, Thunderbolt there. But right here, I play real dumb too. I, I try to go for an X Scissor, not realizing that, you know, I, the poison jabs are hurting this Dragonair. So right here, I make a really dumb play. I should just go straight for an X Scissor. And this is what I'm saying about Dragonair keeps sneaking up on me with these with these uh, Aqua Tails. He gets there faster than I expected. I don't know what it is, so I could have played this match a lot better. And um, we played like six matches, and he won four, I won two. Uh, GG Purple K, we did a one best of three, and I won two one, and then we did a second one, he won three zero. So he really stomps me the second half of of that and yeah gg thank you for watching my timeless cup it matches against purple calgary with my charizard team if you enjoyed hope that you decide to subscribe and maybe you know say hi down in the comment section maybe you like it maybe share it but yeah y'all have a good one peace out bell sprouts bye bye